Ashley and today is another top five Wednesday video. Today's topic is top five future classics. And I've done a video sort of similar to this one but it was so much longer and it's my Ashley's Classics 101 and I will leave a link to that in the description below as well as in the suggested over here. But I've shortened that list to five for today that I think are modern classics but will be classics in the future. These are some of my favorite books of all time so I'm really excited to talk about them. I'm going to try and keep it short otherwise this is going to be a freaking hella long video for just five books. So without any further ado, these are my top five favorite future classics. Number five is Bastard Out of Carolina by Dorothy Allison, which I have talked about in my channel previously, a couple of times actually, and this is the story of this girl named Bone whose mom is in a rough relationship and she doesn't like her stepfather and she's a part of this South Carolina family that is really involved in each other's lives, but She's going through some tough times with her stepfather and her mom who isn't quite taking care of her. And so this is about her story on trying to get strong and just so much more than that. But it is absolutely amazing. It is a hard to read book though. If you want something light, I don't recommend this book. But I think it's a really important novel. I think it is nearly perfect in its execution. And I can't say anything bad about it. I think it's just flawless. And I do honestly think that it's going to like stand the test of time. I think that it's going to be read in classes in the future. And I just, like I said, because it's so important and so well done, I think it's going to be studied and it's going to remain well done and at the top of people's lists in literature for a very long time. Number four is Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro. And I don't have a copy of this right now because I've lent it out, but this is an incredibly beautiful but incredibly harrowing tale of this society where clones are made so that their body parts can eventually be used in surgery to save other people's lives and this story follows one woman in particular and she has two best friends and it's about their group of three friends and what they do when they find out who they are and what they were made to do and how they deal with it and it's beautiful again not a light story. I cried a lot when I read it. The movie does absolute wonderful justice to it. I also cried when I watched the movie, but I think that because it's so dark yet poetic yet important, I think that this book is going to be studied again for a long time. I think that there's not anything out there like this that is both harrowing and a little bit science fiction-y but also poetic. Not many authors are able to do all of that, but it's just so well done and just focused yet also covers a broader scheme of things that are going on and broader topics and questions. And I just feel that not many books are written as well as that book are and really just hit you as much as this book does. Number three is The Long Ranger and Tonto Fist Fight in Heaven by Sherman Alexie. Really, probably like five of Sherman Alexie's books could have been on this list, but I picked this one because it's my favorite. And this is about two kids or kind of old or teenagers. One named Thomas builds a fire who is kind of a nerdy storyteller who's interested in stories and mythology and history. Um, who doesn't really have a lot of friends or get along with people and then Victor who is a recovering alcoholic and is trying to break away from like his family and his family's troubles and try and break that cycle that his family tends to be in and they are an unlikely duo and they sort of have this way of tolerating each other and then growing to really form a bond and it's just beautiful. I think that it's again important because it is an interesting depiction into Native American life and is told in a way that really represents Native American culture well, I think. And Sherman Alexie is just a really amazing author, as all of these people on this list are, obviously. But it's so vivid and so striking and so emotional. I read it in college and I really got a lot out of reading it in college because it meant that I studied it and picked it apart. And I find that really beneficial. And I feel like there's not going to be a time when this book won't be well written or won't be, you know, considered well written in the canon of other literature written at this time. I think that even in future books, it'll still compare 
really well with future books and I think like I said it'll always be important and always be considered well done so that's why I think that this is a future classic. Number two is Love Medicine by Louise Erdrich. This is one of my favorite authors of all time. I own more of her books than any other author in my library and this is about two Native American families, the Cash Paws and the Lamartines. I forgot it's been so long since I read this book. They take place in North America in the Ojibwe tribe just like all of Louise's other books do and it's just about these two families and life on the tribe and there's a little bit of a mystery involved in it. Again, it's just a really amazing cultural representation and the way that Louise writes is not just poetic but like her descriptions while being long at times are not dry. They're very colorful, which is amazing to have long descriptions and long character ramblings and not have them bore you, and that happens in this book and all of her other books. And I just think that's a really big accomplishment in and of itself, but altogether these books are just like healing and unforgettable and not like anything else out there. And again, really important, Louise Erdrich is a member of this tribe. Her father was a member of this tribe so she knows what she's talking about it's authentic and well done and I think that this book is definitely a future classic as well as pretty much any of her books they're just so well written that it's like impossible for them not to be future classics and number one is one of my favorite books of all time actually and that is Atonement by Anne McCune which is the best book <laughs> there's nothing wrong with this book it is perfect I just think that it is a great story of characters and time and place and a slow burn because you don't realize what it's going to be about until like three-fourths of the way in and then you're so invested in it that you don't even realize what's happening and then you find out what happens and you are just like your heart has all of these feels. It's outstanding. I just was blown away when I read this book and he is a modern author who I think writes like a classic author writes, which is why I think that it is going to be a future classic. I know this is already studied a lot in school, so it's already well on its way. It's not that old of a book, and it's just perfect. I have no qualms about this book at all. It's like my top five favorite books of all time, and will be forever because it's outstanding. And that's it. Those are my top five future classics. Thanks you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Thanks for watching. Happy reading.